So um, Dion's running, um, I think, Marcel's smart boat list from Worlds. Mm-hmm. Is that correct, right? So it'll be interesting. He's going to be all about trying to throw torpedoes at Andrea, um, block her, um, and that's where I think it could get interesting. Um, if she plays cagey enough, she might be able to do something here. Poe can basically remove that target lock every single turn with black one. It's so good. So that's actually pretty good. So it'll make it kind of hard. He's going to have to get two targets on Poe to be able to throw one torpedo at it. And Ray has countermeasures, so she could shed one. Um, Ray hits like a truck, though. Like, if Ray could get some rage one shots on these boats, like, Ray can take take them out. So, I don't know. It'll be an interesting game. Our other uh, top four match is actually another Gold Squadron. We have Robert Juris, who won the Unique Gifts and Game Store Championship two mm, weeks ago. That was in Grays Lake. Yeah, Grays Lake versus uh, Leander Smith, also of Gold Squadron. He's running a Kanan and Lorik build, just a two-ship build. That is super annoying. I just played that. It's so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> It's like uh, Kanan down one damage away, Lorik another damage. I, I I had HLC on dash. I couldn't get max like hits. Yeah. So I'm just doing like maybe one damage a turn. Yeah, and, so he, and instead he's throwing like four back in your face. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's totally a Leander list. He's all about like reducing damage. He loves those ships. So I'm glad he's doing well. I had one loss today. I went three and one. Two of my games were on camera. Um, I was playing Vader with um, the new intensity upgrade, the new cruise missile upgrade, fully loaded out um, with um, uh, title, advanced targeting computer, engine upgrade. Then I had a fully loaded out quick draw with expertise, fire control system, sensor cluster, um, lightweight frame, and... What was the other? Oh, and title. And then I just had Countdown with Ailerons and Lightweight Frame. Every game I played was stupid close. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I, that's the life of an Imperial. Oh, <laughs> brutal. Like, that's not true. The one game I lost, I, lo- I went up against a um, Biggs MG9 Kanan list where he, like, set up fortress in the corner uh, made me come to him so he could fire four tlts at me the whole game that's so gross. Uh, i know is i mean i could have just fortressed and waited and waited and waited and then like try to fly in with a cruise missile and get half points on you know kanan but who was that let's blacklist it <laughs> <laughs> he's a super nice guy i mean he was a super nice guy he i had no problems with it but it was just like it's just one of those frustrating things it's like ah I'm working so hard to like fly these ships around, and I'm thinking he's just like, I'll go one forward, I'll throw three dice, <laughs> I'll re-roll, I'll re-roll, I'll focus. And it's just like, oh gosh, I have to do that four times a game. It, it, literally, I think the only maneuvers he dialed in the entire game was one forward and hard two. I don't think he dialed in a single other maneuver the entire game on either of his ships. Uh, Those ships literally could have just said, I could only go straight and only turn left or right. And it's even more it, it frustrating still be. when they when they just look at their dials and then they just put it back down exactly where it was. Yeah, it's exactly. like, yeah, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I hate TLT. I'm just going to say it. I hate it. You hear me? I hate TLT. I don't even like hearing the words TLT. Right? Like, yeah. It makes my ears hurt. It's just like, can we move on from a, to another cannon? You know, I've been wanting this for a long time for a nerf on that card and what I would do personally I would make it so that they just add a line of text to the card that said um, treat this attack as a primary weapon attack because oh, the, poor go- or the poor hawk he's so bad no he'd be fine oh, oh you mean okay yeah, right. the, treat the TLT, the TLT attack yeah. as a primary weapon yeah, attack so, so you get the range bonus on the defender like I think it would make it interesting because then you would actually have to like kind of fly mm-hmm. and try and get in that range two bubble so you get the full benefit of TLT. Because I mean, if TLT is rolling at, you know, even Vader or whatever at range three obstructed, and I'm rolling five dice and I've got tokens, there's a really good chance that I'm not going to get hit. I mean, 
if they got four TLTs and they're still re-rolling, it probably ain't going to matter. Uh, but uh, I think it would just make that car a little more the right power level. It'd just be interesting that you could... There's some interesting combos, I guess, that you could do with that kind of a thing if you're treating it as a primary weapon attack. Yeah. Um, I don't know if, like, you don't, like... I'm trying to think of their, how many ships could uh, benefit from, like, gunner and, yeah. like, guttering <laughs> their TLT attack or whatever. All right, looks like we're we're rolling. I bought three of those stupid Imperial TLT ships. Yeah. I was thinking of making a list. I looked at them. I can't do this. <laughs> this is just awful. I bought them, I bought them to... Honestly, I bought them for mostly for epic play. And I, I'm interested in trying them out with, like, those those unguided rockets. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and I really bought bought them for the intensity. That was, like, the whole reason to buy that ship. So... What's Andrew going to do here? I'm not liking this setup so far. Dion's yeah. just going to come in. He's going to bank all those jump masters. Um, I kind of wish Andrew would have uh, kind of tried to like fly through those asteroids with those ships and make Dion fly through the asteroids. He doesn't have trick shot on him, so it wouldn't be so bad if they're shooting at Poe you know, through an asteroid. Mm-hmm. With uh, the turret as opposed to those torpedoes. Yeah, I would keep Poe back so he can do his boost. Yeah, I'd keep him back, and and, and I would be flying him through those asteroids so you can boost and navigate through those things and Mm -hmm. make it really difficult on him. But the way it's set up right now, he's in... There's a lot of open space. There's a lot of open space. And Ray is pointing the wrong way. So we'll see. We'll see what happens here. I mean, he's just doing the one forward slow roll so he can make all banks next turn. All right. So he gave up on Fen and Old Tarak? <laughs> yeah. He's like, I'm not winning with these. Time to go to the jumps. Yeah, I should do that. <laughs> I was thinking about that. I'm like, you know what? I never, I've never, i never played them. Like, I own two of them. I probably should play them at least once. Hmm. If Poe does a three bank here, oh, no, she's going to BB-8 first. So that means that he that Poe's probably only doing a one forward or a one bank. Oh, no, two forward. Okay, she's going to go through the asteroids. Mm-hmm. I like that much better. And now she can still boost with in, with intensity. Uh, why does she take two focuses? I don't know. I'm totally confused. Because intensity says focus action, right? Oh, you know what or she did? No, what she did was she barrel rolled with BB-8. She triggered intensity to get the focus, Mm -hmm. and then um, she took a focus for her action. That's why she did too. Right, because intensity doesn't just say action. Yeah, it just says assign yourself a focus or evade. I thought she was gonna boost there in between those two rocks. Right, but she's probably just gonna do that now with BBA on this turn. I like that she turned into the rocks. She needs some protection. Just got to figure out what this ray is going to do. Because uh, Ray's about to get lit up by some torps. And countermeasures is nice for a turn. But right. <laughs> it doesn't make him actually spend the, the torpedo. So he just use it another turn later. I still think that's the best playmat we've ever done. I think so. I like it. I'm trying to figure out what to do for the next one. You don't know yet? No, I've got no like three, preview. four ideas. I mean, it's not till regionals. So we're not doing one for a store championship. Right. Um, for our store championship, I'm doing um, 16 
um, upgrade cards, alternate art, extended art that have all the corrected fact information on them. Oh, that'll as be part- cool. As participation. Right. That'll be sweet, right? That'd be great. So if you come to our store championship on August 5th and the 6th, um, for participation, you'll get 16 upgrade cards. <coughs> Seems pretty good. All righty. Here comes the... Uh, I think out of every store championship I've been to this season, combined, like, the prizes weren't that much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep getting these uh, range rulers because uh, I only make, like, you know, <laughs> top eight. And I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, I got range rulers. All right. What can Ray do here? She's getting double locked. Countermeasures will only shed one. She'll get an extra die, though. So she'll have three agility on each attack. Plus she can... Uh, we roll the blanks. Yeah, she'll have the blank, the regular agility. So two agility and a blank. She can re-roll two. Does she have engine on Ray? She does not. Hmm. But she does... Oh, and she doesn't have slam. She has inertial dampeners. Hmm. I, I debated heavily between advanced slam and inertial dampeners. Oh, man. Dio just made the uh, the arc of death. Oh, she's barrel rolling hmm. with BB-8. Not boosting. Interesting. Okay, so she used intensity again. Okay, she's she's taking the long way with Poe. So maybe she just turned away with Ray. Yeah, maybe maybe she did a hard two, Ooh, but that's still gonna hurt so bad. Or maybe she went forward a bunch. Uh oh, uh oh, that's uh -oh that looks like a rock. Oh no, no, she's good. She just yeah, she just said I'm running. Okay, so she'll only take one missile. Yeah, she'll only take one missile, although she doesn't get any of her stuff. Although she could she could ditch the countermeasures right here to ditch the lock of the one ship that's torping her. Right. That That's probably the, be the play here. You get the extra agility. So she's picking up the card and thinking about it. I think that's what she should do. Ditch the countermeasures right here. Get rid of that target lock on that middle jump master, and then it's just two jump masters shooting at her at range three. She'll still have a focus, she'll have two agility, and they're only rolling two dice. Yep, here it comes countermeasures. Now make sure you discard the right target lock. <laughs> yeah, the middle one. Yep. The middle All one. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, I like this. So yeah, she can this swing around so with Poe. Yeah, she's swinging swing around with Poe, and then Ray, she can, uh, she can do a a K flip next turn and she'll be protected by rocks. Mm -hmm. So and his left most his left one has no shot. Yeah. So, so we'll just do three dice. Three dice, I'm assuming at the middle one. Oh, those are so hard to read. Those that look like two hits ones. and uh what? Yeah, so just two shields. He didn't yeah, no blanks. We should have him roll different dice. It's like impossible to see the, the sparkle one. <laughs> yeah, I gave those to him too. Those are for the regionals. Oh, for the TO? Yeah, I got the TO ones, and that's how, that's how nice of a person I am. I just flat out gave them to him. All right, so yeah, here's two dice. One hit. One hit. Oh, and then spend the focus to get the target lock. He's got the droid. That's annoying. I'm assuming she evaded that. I didn't see any shields go off. And they checked. Out of range. Okay. So that was not so bad. Nope. She uh, dealt two damage. She took none. She lost her countermeasure, so that's gone for the whole game now. Hmm. All right. Poe is going to probably come in through that corner there. So it's that middle jump master. I don't know how we're supposed to tell which is which. We have a list here. He said the green one, then the regular and the blue base. Or blue base. 
I don't see a blue base. I see a black base. Oh, it's a blue base? So the middle one is the one that lost the two shields, if you want to adjust that. Oh, does he have numbers? No. That work? Yep. All right, cool. So I'm assuming a, a BB-8 boost with Poe this time instead of a barrel roll? Yeah. Three turn, probably. Um, yeah, she does a boost and then does a three turn. Although these jump masters are... Oof, these jump masters are going to all hard turn in, I think. The far left jump master will for sure is going to hard turn in. The middle one will probably hard turn in because he can barrel roll left or right of the rock. That's the thing with these jump masters. Why did they give them hard one turns? So good. They're they're pretty hard to uh, to dodge. What does she do here with Ray? Does she do it for the three sloop to the right and just turn around? Hmm. I don't know. I think maybe three bank to the left. To the left. Yeah. As long as it doesn't hit a rock, I think that's fine. But I think she's got a. Oh, sloop Ray's here. an eight though, right? Are, are both Poe and Ray eight? No. Um. Poe is a nine, Ray's uh, a ten. Oh. So yeah, she yeah. can wait for to for Poe to move. That's why she probably put Poe in front. Right. I'm pretty excited. I kind of hope Andrea wins only because I don't know if Andrea's ever won a tournament before. She's gotten like done really well, made a couple top fours, but I don't think she's ever won at anything. Tournament wise, except for magic tournaments <laughs> where she crushed boys' dreams. All right, I think here, out of the two, I would probably uh, yeah, win the look, magic. Here's the hard ones. So that's what I'm thinking. The uh, the sloop to the right with Ray would be good here. Yeah. Because. Yep, he's just gonna focus. He wasn't gonna. If he would have barrel to the right, it kind of would have sucked, I think. But because he's just going to focus, and then this guy's going to do a nice little three bank. I think he's just trying to cover as many arcs as possible. But you don't care about that, right? That guy? No. no. He's just he's just there. He's your focus factory for the time being. Yeah. And then this other guy's going to do another hard one. Is there a rock right there? Oh, there is. There is. So he's not Ooh. even. Wow. Wow. So that was super good for Andrew, I feel like, that turn. Poe is in great position here. Poe could just come through those rocks. An interesting... Uh, so it looks like Dion's setting up for a two-sloop next turn. Mm -hmm. All right, so no BB-8, Andrea? Oh, she's revealing the green. No BB-8. No, nope, just a two. Just a two. Okay. And just a focus. Okay. Seems good. Yeah, seems fine. Range one. Only got range of one jump master. Yeah, and there's no target lock, so he can't torp again. And there's no sense in boosting. Yeah, and here out of uh, auto thrusters. Yep, and here's the turn I was telling you about the hard. Ooh, this is bad for Dion. This is good for her. Yeah, I but think. bad for Dion. Yeah. Gonna eat two shots. Hopefully Ray could. I don't know if that's in range. Ray's in that jump man. I don't know if that's in range. But either way, like positioning for next turn seems really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I don't think it's in range. And he will do zero damage to Poe. Oh, hopefully Poe's an arc. Yeah, he's an arc. Okay. Do it. The perfect pull roll. <laughs> two crits and a focus. Oh, there's uh, just two. And it looks, looks like, like two evades. Two oh, no. It's a... It looks like it's a focus that evades, so he's going to spend it. He'll take none. Yeah. Might as well. You're not going to do any damage to Pooh. No. And that's why he went backwards to see if he can get... Nope. So the only return fire is that one 
And it's going to hit range three, two dice against Poe with ability and auto thruster. So he should do zero damage here. Yeah, auto thrusters and ability. Okay. Now don't forget to flip your intensity, Andrea. I would forget every time. <laughs> <laughs> I told her, I was like, you know, this list has a lot of triggers you got to remember. You've got BB-8, you've got Black-1, you've got Intensity, you've Auto Thrusters. That's just on Poe alone. So there's a lot of triggers to remember. And then you got Ray. Uh, so you've got the, you know, the, the Caden trigger. Right. You've got the Finn trigger. You got the Countermeasures trigger. Inertial dampers. The inertial dampers trigger. There's a lot of things to remember, so I'm like, just be careful. Cause take your time, because it's very easy to miss all those triggers. So this seems okay. Um, that other jump master is not going to get a shot. The one that's facing the wrong direction well, should not get a shot on anything. Right. Um, the jump master in the front is going to have to go towards Poe. I don't think a, a hard one will fit on, with that asteroid in front of it. Do you? No. It's hard to tell on the stream, but I don't think so. I think all he can do is uh, a one bank to the left. Mm -hmm. And then the green jump master can easily just go forward or sloop. But does that jump master really want to just joust singularly with Ray? That seems terrible. No, probably not. If I'm down, I don't like my position at all. You're basically feeding Poe, that one jump master. Yeah. And then so all th Ray has to do is just turn right. Yeah. Ray just has to bank in, right? Like, that's all she's got to do? Either a bank or just a, hard, a turn. Yeah. I think she banks because she wants to be an arc. Like a one bank or a two bank here. Mm -hmm. She doesn't want to go... I don't think she wants to do a three. Even though a range one would be sweet. I don't think she wants to do a three. Well, let's see. Let's think about it. So, the green jump master. What is what's move does it make? Two bank. A left. two bank left, right? That's what that would be my guess. It acquires the target lock. Um, it might have one already on her, right? Oh, it already, yeah, he's already got it, so it doesn't matter. Actually, a three might not be bad because if it puts her at range one, he's not torping her. Yeah. And then she's going to roll a five dice attack. With, I'll take that. <laughs> with uh, tokens. I think you'll trade that, right? Uh, all day. So maybe, and she did the three sloop to make that move. So we know she could just so do a three bank fits, in. Right. So, and if she bumps, is that terrible? I don't think so. No, I mean, not really. Because, like I said, this jump master, I don't think the, the middle jump master, the one with that dark base, I don't see him doing a hard turn to the left. I see a sloop. Is that a sloop? Yep. Yep, so, all right. I was right. Yeah, so just, I mean. So, yeah, this is like the dream scenario. Ram the green one. <laughs> yeah, like, I'd say Andrea should just go hard three get in the face of the green one, range one it, and then Poe can take a shot against this other guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going for the block here. Mm. So ho hopefully Andrew just dialed in like a one bank or a one forward. Cause, and then she could just range one this thing. Oh, he slooped. Oh, maybe he's going to try and barrel he, He's going to try and barrel left, just huh? Just to block the punt. That doesn't seem great. Hmm. I guess he figures he gets the block and he gets a shot on Ray with his missile. Yeah. I don't think this fits. Though. It doesn't look like it fits. So, no, no block. Yeah, so there's no block here. That sucks. I guess the block would have been pretty nice for him here. But it, hopefully Andrew just did a one forward. If she did a one forward, she's just going to lay into that jump master. I think this is how you draw it up with Ray and Poe. Mm -hmm. Split the, the forces and try to take those ships out one one to one dogfight. Oh, here's the two. It's like we drew it up, Brandon. <laughs> we should be playing this game, right? Yeah, why are we not here? Why are we not playing this game? We must suck. I get matched up against 
stuff that just doesn't die, like Lara <laughs> and Kanan. Yeah. What does suck, though, if Andrea did, because he did a sloop here, he will get to blast Ray with the other. He's going to get a two-on-one. Oh, and look, he's going to he's gonna barrel roll out, oh, okay. so she can't. So th this is actually not looking as good for her. She'll still get, he'll still get, he'll still get the, the attack if she did a three. It'll be interesting to see what she did, what she decided. Uh -oh. oh, she trying to, she's trying to BB-8, so she's not. Range one shot with Poe. Okay, that's, that seems great. Range one against that thing with Poe. Now what did, this, the million dollar question is what did Ray do? And that's the one that already took damage, right? The one Poe was shooting it? Regular? Um, yes. Oh, she okie doke. Yep. Oh, gross. She's playing the dash game of just. <laughs> that is good. Play the range. Wow. Three. She played better than we did, Brandon. <laughs> I, I was so convinced that that three sloop was coming. That she must have, she must have planned on the sloop. Probably. That, that was really good. Yeah, again, you'll take this range three shot, whatever. And, and now she's going to turret. Yep, no rock. No rock. So she's getting the two on, a good two-on-one here, a decent two-on-one here. Uh, spend the focus for three. Okay. And I see some paint. So, looks like he's lost a shield. And now Poe for four dice. Ugh. Did she take a, she didn't take a target lock? Uh, she focused, I think. Really? Why is he re-rolling? Why did he re-roll on defense there? Did you see that? He re-rolled the green die. Was it cock? I have no clue. Hmm. He re-rolled the green die. I'm not sure why. All right, here's a plasma. This is going to kind of stink. Yeah. Uh, four hits, of course. All right. Did she get an evade? Or is it just all five now? Not here. So. Yeah, just one die. Looks like a focus. Uh, it looks like she's losing four, five shields. Well, she only took off four, so it looks like that maybe that was an evade. Hmm. He's thinking about spending the target. Oh, there's two. That sucks. Shield. And looks like a damage card now. Oh, no. She must have rolled another evade, so. We're down to Hull on Ray. Well, that was kind of a terrible exchange for her, huh? Yeah. That it was seemed like that would have gone better. Dion rolled some good defense dice, though. He rolled. He spent both of his uh, focus tokens on the jump master on defense. So he soaked up two to three damage at least. Mm. I mean, this is yeah. gonna be rough for Ray now. Yeah, this is brutal for Ray. She can hard one in here, but so can he. I don't know what she does here. What would you do? If I was Ray. Yeah. Do you three sloop the other way, to the right this time off the corner of the map? And she needs to start. She needs to start facing these jump masters to get any kind of advantage. Yeah. She can't just keep running and getting torqued from behind. Because he's going to one jump turn masters. the green one. Yeah, I think he one turns the green one. He takes a barrel roll. It's the efficiency of his list where he could just he could barrel roll. Um, get, he gets the free target lock. He can barrel roll and then give them all focus with the the one at the bottom. 
Yeah, that's what jump masters. They just bully one guy into running away, and then they yeah. can just immediately switch focus yeah. with all their stuff. Yeah. It's kind of a shame because I feel like she actually, I think that was actually the best move for her there. Mm -hmm. um, if she would have went and did the sloop like we originally thought, uh, or did the bank in, she would have took two torpedoes. Yeah. This time she only took one. Poe's in a pretty good shape, though, this turn. Because she's got BB-8. She can react to him. Yeah, she can do the, the right barrel roll. BB-8's in. good here because he has intelligence agent. So, like, he, she, he, he can look at the dial and decide where she goes. But she can react mm -hmm. to where he, where he barrel rolls. So, actually, the BB-8 is not so terrible here. I mean, I'm assuming he's just going to sloop and turn around, right? With that middle jump master, the one that's right next to Poe. Do a two sloop to the right and just... Well, that's right, isn't it? I, it? I think that they're still white, right? Or the red. Who cares? What does yeah. it matter if it's red? He <laughs> just do it last. He just does it last. Yeah. I mean, he activates the other ships first. He does it last. Atani Mindlink doesn't really care. Or maybe he just two, three forwards past the rock. Yeah. Does it next round. The green jump master, it's hard to tell on the angle. No, I think the green jump master has to either hard one to the left or he's got a bank one to the right, which I don't think he would do. I think he could fit the two left turn. You think he could do a two two bank? Two bank, green? no, but a two left turn. Hard two, yeah. Yeah, yeah he, either one. He's got a hard turn that one, I think. Well, that's why I think it's interesting if she does a three sloop with Ray here. Um, she'll have a front arc shot at that green one, and the green one will have to do a side shot at her. Three. A three sloop to the right. Puts her back edge by that logo, maybe? Yeah, yeah. maybe. I mean, she's got to turn around eventually, and mm -hmm. this seems like the safest turn to do so. Unless she just wants to hard one in. But if she hards one in, he's going to hard one in, and he's going to have another shot, and he's going to have another torpedo on her. If she does a three soup, she doesn't get torped here. Yeah, see, he's just going to... I wonder if BB-8, honestly, I wonder if BB-8 made him not want to go for the intelligence agent block there. He's just going to fortress up the three ships. He's going to protect the one that's damaged. Almost certainly a target lock on Poe. Yeah. It's so good. <coughs> yep. So the free target lock on Poe. Now that one still has torps. But black one is just going to shed that torp. So that's not that locks. That's not a big deal. Now the other thing to keep in mind is if there's ever a turn... Yeah, there's the hard two. If there's ever a turn um, with uh, Poe where he doesn't need to shed the lock, he can shed it off of Ray as right. well. I don't know if that'll ever come into play, though. So if she does a hard one with Ray, will she hit that rock? Yeah. You think so? I think so. It's hard to tell. And the other question is, would she be in torp range of that green one when, if she did make the turn? I think a hard one just leaves her... S it doesn't look good. So really, this isn't bad for Poe. He's going to turn yeah, or bank. Yeah, he'll, he'll turn. He'll ditch that target lock. Yeah, he'll ditch the target lock. He'll... Um, Cause the, other, the green one has the target lock on yeah. Ray, so he's not going to need anything. Yeah, so... He'll just shrug off all these range three, two dice attacks. Yeah. So, oh wait, she's going to BB-8. This is pretty aggressive. I wonder why she's doing this. I'm not sure why. I think she just wants to get a range two. So, all right, well, here it is. Don't forget to shed the target lock with put lack one, please. That'll be game if you forget that. 
Come on, Andrea, take off the target lock. Black one. Oh, no. Black, and the Dion just pushed it, too. Don't forget about the black one. Oh, God. Oh, she's take forgetting it about it. She, oh, that's game. Uh, well, I told you about the uh, so about missing is, triggers. Yeah, so now, yeah, she now she's missile. in trouble. She eats a range two with no auto thrusters versus the green one. Yeah, that was not a good turn. Unfortunately, that's going to be... That's going to be the... Uh, oh, there's the sloop. Yeah, which I, I hope she has expected. a shot with something. She doesn't. No. Uh, yeah. That's brutal. She forgot about... Forgetting about black one here is humongous. She's getting attacked three times. Two. She's getting a turret. Twice without auto thrusters. Twice without auto thrusters. I think the move was honestly just not triggering BB-8. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or barrel rolling the other way and then banking in. I don't know. You had to barrel roll to get rid of that black one. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, that's terrible. Nothing, uh, man. Uh, two hits, it's just nice, but it's not enough to kill a jump master. Yeah, this is going to be a bad trade. Yeah. I think she kind of fell for the trap. She, she definitely walked right into the, the three, the three ships here. Post probably going to eat it. All right. Well, huh. those all blanks. Spending the focus to get the target lock. You know, oh, this so it. sucks because now she can only shed one next turn. Yep, and he's going to sloop. Yep. Yeah, that really blows. All right. Well, this ain't so bad. All right, Poe, no damage. Now here comes the torpedo that she could have targeted. Can you imagine if she could have shed this thing right here? She would get out. She would get out of it, no damage. Oh. Brutal. Well, I mean, it's the first time she's ever played the list, and here we go. So all the shields are gone, and he's going to take a crit. Yep. That's a big... Oh, that's bad. Yeah, without regen... Like, Without what do you, re- what do, you do as Poe now? That's the problem with uh, that's the problem with this build is uh, you can't make a mistake. Mm-hmm. I can't read what that crit was. I have no clue what the crit was. Oh, uh, that was a that that's a horrible engagement. And the stinky part is that uh, Bray is not going to have a great attack next turn either. Nope, because she's got a bank. And yep. all those jump masters are already going to be out of range. Yep. Or they're just going to barrel out of her arc. Yeah. So, man. She doesn't. I guess, yeah. I don't know, man. This stinks. Well, on the plus side. When this game's over, her and I can go home and watch Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? 7.30. Is this new Game of Thrones book ever going to come out? I don't think it's, He's gonna yeah. Be dead before he writes this thing. Yeah, I don't know. That's the running joke for 10 years now. Hard to believe it. We're in the seventh season of the show, and he hasn't finished a book in seven years. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the video where he goes out with the um, the actress who plays Shay? No. He he takes her on like 
like the life of George R. R. Martin. Oh, really? Which is like one of his like day, and he goes to like three restaurants. Yeah. And she's like, by the end, she's like, I can't eat this much food, George. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> he just goes to like all these TGI Fridays places, orders all this food. That's goes to count. It's like, no wonder this guy doesn't like care about writing this book. He's got all this money, and he just yeah, like, does he's just whatever eating. he wants. And the girl that plays Shay, she's really good looking too. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about spe. Uh, I don't even know sure if it's worth speculating now. She's in trouble. It doesn't matter. Where are you going? It's the, you passed it. Yeah, it's in the other room. Do they pause the time? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Ooh, why is our time not moving? I don't know. Oh well. Oh <laughs> uh, whatever. This game's not going to go to time now. No. Poe is dead. I don't know what he, what can he do. See, this is the situation where BBA can't get you out of anything. Yeah, this is rough. I mean, she's in between two rocks, so she can't barrel roll. All she can do is boost. She would have to take a green. She's going to get blocked here. Uh, it's not good. She got too close. Four four is the f- is the farthest the uh, T seventy can go. Yeah, but it but she can't. Yeah, it, all she can do is just go forward a bunch, which is not going to help. Because we're probably going to right turn at the bottom one, block with the barrel roll. Green one, I guess, can just do whatever he wants. Chase Ray, who knows? Green one, just go. She can just do like a one slant or one forward and just keep the guns from. I mean, I don't know. You're so lucky, Dion. Dion, wash your hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not this. Yeah. I don't know. We're going to have to point out the, yeah, that barrel. So this was the turn, I think, where it kind of slipped away from her. The uh, the barrel roll on BB-8 did not seem good. It did not, no. Um, I would have just banked. I just would have dialed in a bank maneuver there, mm-hmm. and that's it. Um, and then taking a focus. And boost off that. Yeah. Target line. Sloop. Yeah. I really hate these ships. I don't. I, I think about, like, maybe I'd play them one day, but I, I, I'm i lying. I'll wait until they nerf them before I put them <laughs> on the table. I'll play them when they're not good. All right, now he's barrel rolling? He's slooping and barrel rolling? That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know. He had a... Pretty what? good shot. Yeah. He was. Oh, I don't know why he did that. Just feed your guys focus. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. All right, here's a hard one. Yeah, going after Ray. Oh, well, if she does a three bank in here, that wouldn't be terrible. She just l- throw a ton of dice at that ship. <laughs> Sounds like she's having fun. It doesn't even care that she's gonna lose this game though. Oh wow. She could get out of this. I was not. Were you expecting that? Um, I was expecting maybe the barrel roll here, but it looks like he's not doing it. Yeah. So <laughs> one forward and just one <laughs> forward and throw the dice, right? One forward, boost, remove something. <laughs> yeah. Remove the other. The bottom guy's lock. Yeah, definitely got to move the lock. But you know what? She probably won't because she forgot about it last year. So she probably forgot about black one title. Oh, here's the barrel roll. <laughs> okay. I think this barrel roll is actually good for her, personally. Yeah. Because now she can BB-8, boost in, get rid of the lock, and then, uh, um, no. She's mm. not even BB-8ing. Right. Oh, that's not good. All right. Well, she's going to get hit by another torp here. And pretty much get obliterated. Well, she can boost right. Shh. She can boost. Remember the target lock. Remember to get rid of that with black one. Or is black one only barrel roll? No, it's boost and barrel roll. It's boost and barrel roll. No, she remembered her intensity. (laughs) (laughs) Damn it, the the stupid target lock. She's just playing on hard mode. That's a. Well, Andrea Andrea has also said, and she's admitted this to me multiple times, that um, 
her 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 round limitation is three to four. That's after, about mine. <laughs> after four rounds, what? Oh, uh, okay. They can hear. Oh, who cares? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever. Fly off a board, yeah. <laughs> yeah. After four rounds, she uh, she doesn't really remember. She she starts to refigure things, and that's when she loses concentration. So. Well, she's going to roll all the dice here. Should not be obstructed, so. Uh, blank from Finn. Reroll. Go for a four. Oh, there's the focus. All right. That's not bad. Still gets pinked. His evade, his evade dice have been insane. He's evaded at least six damage in this game. Yeah, they were just evades. He didn't even have to spend the focus. All right, that dude's out. The the that guy's out, right? The yeah. torp guy. So okay, I guess it's okay that she forgot to shed this lock again. Another auto thrust verbal shot. Yeah. Yeah, she shouldn't take any damage here. Yeah, there you go. Oh, all right, pose alive. Oh. What's going on? The green one is shooting plasmas at Ray. What? How? Oh, plasmas at Ray. Oh, sure. Whatever. She gets to roll the dice, though. She still gets the two dice. Spend the focus to get a target lock. And I'm going to spend it right away. No, he can't do that, can he? Yeah, he had a focus. So he spends it to get the lock back. And then he's just okay. guidance shipping for three. All right. So. Oh, great. I got a sign for the pizza. I'll be right back. She's supposed to roll uh, a blank there. She forgot to. She forgot the. Yeah. Oh, this is well, this is certainly an uphill battle. All right, this is the situation you're in now as Andrea. You have Poe facing the wrong way with one or two health left. You have Ray who's facing a rock. So most likely not getting her ability. And you have one jump master at about half health and two that are pretty full. I mean, green one is just going to turn away. Just plink it, Ray. She's not going to get her ability. Turn the other middle one left in. There's really nothing Ray can do here. You just die by paper cut. Pretty much Ray's only move is to two to the right. If you turn left, you're probably just going to get blocked on a rock.
Maybe she'll remember her natural dampeners and just stay where she is with Ray. Not really sure what this barrel roll achieves. Like she's not going to go left. You have Ray on the ropes. Just stay where you are and point at her. And now he's getting super aggressive with the guy that's almost dead. I don't know, that was a, an odd series of events from Deal. She's on a rock. BB-8, you're supposed to avoid rocks, not put them on them. And he takes a damage. Is that the end of Poe? A little out of practice, but nope. finishing the barrel roll. Okay. And then that guy. Is she committing suicide by yeah. BB-8? We're just going to hit all the rocks. Probably land on it, too. Ron, what is she doing? <laughs> I think she kind of realized she lost, so she's kind of checking out of the game now. She might be off the – well, who knows now. Yeah. He's pretty much got to give it to her as being off the rock if he pulls it off. Mm -hmm. But she can't attack the target she wants, which stinks. Oh, yeah, and she hit another rock damage. Oh, 
I'm not going to be on the mic while I'm eating because you just hear it. So she's going after the wounded one. Long shot, range three. Looks like she hits two. Or is she shooting the other one? Okay, so she shot the healthy one. Two shields. Not really going to matter. Spend your focus, get your target lock, spend your target lock. Come on. Just shoot Ray. <laughs> You're not going to hit a Poe at range three, possibly through a rock. Or he's just going to try and finish him with plasma. with guidance. Still avoidable. Or maybe she only had one with Poe and he dies anyways. Oh yeah. Poe's dead. Well, it was the rock that did it. If Ray lands on the pizza, mm -hmm. I think she gets full shields back. Do it, Ray. Just four forward right onto that pizza. I wish I had pizza. The only thing I ate all day was a two-year-old granola bar that I found in my backpack. One turn, one turn the green one, one turn the other one. So what's your option? Slam right into that middle one. Yep. Try to kill the almost dead one. Hope the green one just blanks out entirely. Shoot 
Shaky camera. Yeah, you just have to go for the guy with two hit points left. Ooh, looks like three hits. Two paint, so pretty much safe. Two hits. Hit. Or three hits. Ooh, a crit. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six, two hit points left on Ray. <laughs> Which could be it here. Spun the focus, get a target lock, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Move and evade. No, she concedes. Yeah, there's really nothing she can do. Surviving with one hit point is just basically death anyway, so. Well, that was fun. <laughs>